Using generics in functions was easy, but did you know that you can also use them with classes? In this video, I will show you how. Let's talk about generics in classes. From my previous videos, you know that we can define generics by using the angle brackets and defining a type variable. In this class, I will define two variables, key type and value type. I will also add them as properties to the class so that I can assign them using the constructor. Now that we can instantiate the class here through the constructor, let's directly make use of it to then destructure the key and the value from the newly created instance of the key value pair. We can see that the first type variable gets assigned to a string and the second one will become a number. So the key type will be a string and the value type will be a number. Let's have a look in the console because when we run the code, then the key type must be a string and the value type must be a number. From the terminal we can see that the string is indicated in gray and the number is indicated in yellow. When we change the value type to also be of type string, then TypeScript will make use of that in our class and will force us to then provide a value that is a string. So I will just write 20 here to make sure that we have a string value. And then we can like have a look here in the class and how the type inference works. And we will see that the value type here will be represented by a string. So if we look at the key, the key is still a string or undefined. And our value member can now also be a string or undefined.